Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten, if you're new here, and I typically post home and lifestyle videos right here on my channel. And today I have a bedding video to share with you all. I recently posted my apartment tour and it got so much love on here, so I just want to thank you all for your support. It truly means the world. And I did get a few questions about my bedding and everything that I use to dress and style my bed. So I just want to break it down for you guys and share with you how to get a cozy feel and a luxurious feel in your bedroom. So let's go ahead and get right into it so I can show you exactly how I make my bed feel like the luxurious hotel bed that we all dream of. Okay, so probably the most important thing, which I'm sure you already know that you should invest in, is your mattress. You want to make sure that you're getting a mattress that really offers you support when you sleep and really just molds to your body. So I did a ton of research and I ended up going with the Puffy mattress. Now this is one of those memory foam mattresses that come in a box. So you just unfold it and let it inflate over the next 24 hours and then you have this really puffy memory foam mattress, which I love. My sister and I actually did purchase this for my mom before I even got it for myself and she absolutely loved it. So then I finally made the choice to get one for myself and it's really made all the difference for my sleep. I know these kinds of mattresses aren't for everybody. Some people prefer mattresses that have the spring to them. Those are what I used growing up. But right now I feel like this is really cozy and comfy for me. I really do like a soft feeling mattress so this one was perfect. Although it's not too soft, I feel like it really can adjust to the sleeper and when I just curl up in it, I feel so good at night. So I really do love this mattress. Okay, so the next step is also an important one. If you really want your mattress to last, I recommend you get a mattress protector. So there are actually a few options for this. You can get a mattress pad or a mattress topper, which does tend to add a few inches to your bed and add extra padding. I currently have a mattress protector. So that is really just like a fitted sheet and it just offers an extra layer of protection against spills or anything that I might keep on my bed. I think soon I do wanna invest in a mattress topper. So I'm currently budgeting for that, but for now this does the job. So I just keep it right on top of my mattress and it works pretty well. So now we're moving on to sheets. I know some people are very particular with their sheets and like a specific thread count but I don't really know so much about that. So I just choose any sheets that I find from Target that feel nice to me. I have about four sheets that I like to rotate through. So right now I'm using this really subtle purple color and I really love how gentle it is. I feel like it adds a pop of color without being too loud, which I love. And I actually don't use a flat sheet. I only use a fitted sheet on my bed. Let me know if this is something that you guys do too or if you guys do use your flat sheets. I just don't really see a purpose for them, but that might just be because I add unnecessary layers which you will see later on so in place of the flat sheet i just use a quilt on my bed and i like this quilt that i have from the casa luna collection also at target because it is in this nice linen color and it really just adds this earthiness to my bed but again it's not super bright i do try to stay away from all white bedding because i think it can look flat and somewhat bland but i think the subtle hues of these tones just really add something to the bed without overdoing it now as you can see behind me i do have a duvet and a duvet cover and i feel like that's really what tops off this cozy feel and this puffy look to the bed the comforter that i have is from buffy and it's called the cloud comforter for good reason it really feels like you're just folding up into a cloud at night i love 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 using this comforter now the only thing about this to keep in mind is that you do kind of get hot throughout the night so if you're a warm sleeper this might not be the comforter for you but they do have another comforter called the breeze which is much lighter weight and it's super breathable so it's meant for warm sleepers I did actually order that one originally, but it just wasn't as fluffy as the cloud was, so I decided to keep the cloud instead. And I'm super happy with it, but definitely do get hot sometimes. So that's really the only thing, but I really love it during winter time. And then during the summer, I tend to just not keep a comforter on my bed at all. Now, a great tip that I've actually seen floating around is to actually use a king size duvet insert and then just stuff it into your queen size cover and that just helps it to feel extra puffy and truly give it that hotel look. I just have a regular queen size on my bed and I also think it does the job pretty nicely. So if you're wanting to save some money, that's definitely the route to go. And I know a lot of people struggle with inserting duvets into their covers. So I'm not sure if you're aware, but most duvet covers do come with these little ties. So what I do is just flip it inside out after the wash. 
I lay it right on top of my duvet insert and then I tie all the ties on each corner. I then start at the end of my bed, reaching into the duvet cover from the opening and then I basically flip it back outside in or inside out <laughs> to make sure that it's completely covering my duvet insert and it takes no more than a few minutes that way so I found that to be pretty easy. There's also a rolling method that you can use, but that one just for some reason I can't get right. So this is my go-to when putting on my duvet cover. And now the next thing that you'll see on top of that comforter is actually my weighted blanket. So this one is super chunky, it's hand woven, and I really do like the warmth that it brings to the space. The only thing about this is that weighted blankets tend to be quite small in size, so this is not going to extend over your entire bed. It's more meant to be for one person, so it is more like a twin size kind of blanket. But if it's just you or you're sleeping alone, then you can definitely use this at night. This one doesn't get as much use as my cloud comforter because I have gotten so used to sleeping with it. But it is really great for those restless nights when I can't stop tossing and turning. Okay, we are finally ready to talk about my pillows. So at the top of my bed, I have these three Euro shams and I love how big they are. They really fill up the bed super nicely and are are just the perfect base for the rest of my pillows. Next, I just have my standard pillows that I use to sleep with. I'm pretty sure that I got the pillows from Costco or BJ's. They are the most comfortable pillows that I've honestly ever had. I don't know what it is about them. They're just super fluffy, super plush, very thick. So that's what I like in a pillow. I want to feel a lot of cushion and make sure that when my head hits the pillow, I'm not just falling flat onto my sheets. And then I just have very standard white pillowcases right on top. And then finally, I like to add a decorative pillow at the end just to add some pattern, add texture. And I really feel like it just completes the entire bed so as you can see I just really like to add a lot of layers I know this might be overkill for some people you can honestly just go with your mattress and your sheet set and you're done but for me I feel like this just makes it really cozy and comfortable and it really is just super inviting and welcoming for my sleep so that is all for this video I hope you enjoyed it and gained some tips and if you actually have any other tips please leave them down below I'm curious about how you guys make your bed what do you do differently? What do you do the same? Am I missing something? Let me know. I do hope to get that mattress topper soon, but otherwise I'm super happy with this bed setup. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.